unfortunately section 13 i'm from section 13 in front of msu because that one is my hostel and uh actually this uh, the past this past saturday right uh, i was uh, i went to work at damansara ipc mall and then when i was at work and then i realized that okay my friend said okay you cannot come back ready because shah alam is not flooded then oh my god and then i was like uh, until the until the night was a saturday night right uh, the flood has become very serious so i have no choice but i cannot go back i have to find a other place to stay realize that the flood is still uh, is like uh, not so serious but then uh, there's no electricity no water at my condo and then the parking base is basement is like totally flooded so uh, they cannot turn on the electricity because it's very dangerous so basically all my sources uh, when i want to check the news my basically uh, uh, my friends will post with snap uh, instagram or whatsapp stories so i can uh, get myself updated with the information from the whatsapp stories and then uh, basically jmb and also building manager they will send announcement in whatsapp group so even my university msu they also have a whatsapp group for students who are staying uh, according to this building there are a few buildings over there one of the building is my building i'm staying so currently in my parking in the parking basement of my condominium uh, below the basement level we have lg and then lg1 a uh, basement a and then b and then until basement 4 all are flooded flooded is like totally an aquarium already and then they have issue in uh, looking for water pump as well the pump uh, provided by the contractor actually two contractors actually two contractors so they have hired two contractors but then the issue is the contractors they only have one uh, pump for each contractor because the other pumps were all rented out to help the victims in sri muda and the big issue in my condominium is um, the pump is not that strong to support the whole seven floors a seven basement levels amount of water so basically the electricity okay uh, at first uh, electricity is like totally off and then the other day uh, corona sticker is from monday tnb actually provided uh, 1000 amp uh, worth of current uh, generator to generate electricity for the tenants but it is only like temporary only we do not know how long will the generator last uh, and then unfortunately the second bad news water has been cut off because there was a pipe burst on on monday morning or if i am mistaken like all in a sudden it's like in malay we say sudah jatuh di timpa tangga double the damage and then the university is like providing the dry food and then providing the uh, lunch and dinner basic necessities but then still uh, the most uh, the most difficult uh, factors that uh, how to say uh, give us like challenges right is the flood in the basement and also the water pump issue never thought that the non stop two days rain will cause a flood in selangor and then uh, never thought also because everything is like, out of expected we never prepared uh, not to say that we don't have disaster we had disaster back then in 2004 i still remember that time uh, december is is december also as well and then the tsunami tsunami happened basically it's the same thing at that time no one expected tsunami will ha- ever happen in malaysia until the tsunami appear and then prove everyone wrong and then this three muda flood uh, sorry shah alam flood right is also like out of expectation because it has not been happening since uh, 15 years ago 50 50 50 so now what i can say is we should always be prepared uh, don't say this is a small issue small issue can be a big issue 